Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now we'll solve the OGE. dy by gx is equal to x cube y cube minus x y. So, first try to simplify this equation. So, dy by gx will be, uh, sorry, dy by dx plus x y will be x cube y cube. So, note that this is a bundle of this equation because here we have a term y and another term is y cube. So, I have already made a video on how to solve a general bundle situation. You can check that video. I will give the link in the description box. So, basically, in this method, what we do? First, we will divide the both sides by this term, y to the 1 cube. So, we have y to the 1 minus by doing minus 3 divided by dx is x y to the 1 minus 2 x cube. In the next step, we will stuff substitute this y power minus 2 by a new variable. So for the next step, what we will do? y to the 1 minus 2 is b. So we have minus 2 y to the minus 3 divided by dx is equal to db dx. So we get y to the 1 minus 3 divided by dx is equal to minus half db dx. So we have minus half dv dx plus xb is equal to x cube. So by simplifying, we have dv dx minus 2xb is equal to minus 2x cube. So this is the first order linear equation. And we solve this kind of equation by integrate, integrating factor method. I have already made a video on that. You can check that video. I will give the link in the description box. So, basically, in this method, first we will find integrating factors, which is ix will be e power integral of coefficient of v, which is that here minus 2x. So, by solving, we have e power minus x square. In the next step, we multiply ix to the both side of this equation number 1. Then we get ddx of v e power minus x square is minus 2x cube e power minus square. So, we have v e power minus square is equal to integral minus 2x cube e power minus x square dx. So, again, here we substitute minus x square to p. So we get minus 2x dx is equal to dp. So here we have minus x square e power minus x square and 2x dx. So minus, so x square is minus p e power minus x squared is e power p and 2x dx is nothing but minus dp. So ultimately we have we have 3 minus so we have 1 minus p e power p dp. So by integrating by parts we have p e power p minus integral of derivative of p is 1 integral of e power p is dp dp. So, in the next step, we have p e power p minus e p plus c. So, if we take e power p common, we have p minus 1 plus c. And in the right hand, left hand side, we have v e minus x square. So, it is e power by putting p x square and minus square minus 1 plus c. 
So by multiplying e power x square in the both sides, we get g is equal to minus of minus x square minus 1 plus c x square. So we will write the general solution. What is v? V is nothing but y power minus 2. So, so y power minus 2 will be x square plus 1 plus c x square. This is the general solution.